Meanwhile, we can use the coin and put it into the mixture. And now we have to wait. The next step is to take out the coin and clean it. And as you can see now, the coin is now a silver colored coin. The result was a coin with a silver color. Uh, the silver color isn't silver, but it's zinc. So this is the copper coin with the copper atoms. And we tried to make a layer of zinc above on these copper coins like this. And the only reason why this happened was because we used sodium hydroxide and we used high temperature. So now you can see, see a layer of zinc and a layer of copper. 